In today's video, we're going to focus on subtracting mixed numbers. When you have two mixed numbers, the first thing you want to focus on is the denominators. If the denominators are the same, then the subtraction can resume. If these denominators were different, then we'd have to come up with a common denominator. But in this case, they're the same, so we can actually move forward with subtraction. Now, when you're subtracting mixed numbers, the first thing you want to focus on is the whole numbers. 3 minus 1 gives you 2. But when we get to the fractions, we cannot subtract 5 from 1 because 5 is too big. So when this happens, we have to do something called converting to improper fractions. Okay, We've got to change 3 and 1 6 to a fraction, and we have to change 1 and 5 6 from a mixed number to a fraction. Okay. How do we do this? Let's talk about that next. 3 and 1, 6. In order to change this to an improper fraction, you want to do the following. First, you want to start with your 6, your denominator, and we're going to go like in a clockwise motion here. Pretend like we're going around a clock. We're going to go from the 6 to the 3, and we're going to multiply. 6 times 3 is what, guys? 18, right? So we're going to keep going around the clock, okay? Then we're going to move to the numerator. 18 plus 1 is what? 19. Okay, once you have that value, you're going to put it over our original denominator, which is 6. We're going to do the same thing with 1 and 5, 6. We're going to go in a clockwise motion. 6 times 1 gives us what? 6. Okay. Now, 6 plus 5 gives us 11. And what are we going to do again? We're going to put that 11 over our original denominator, which is 6. Once we do that, we're going to take our two new fractions, and we're going to put them right back in our subtraction problem, our subtraction setup. Now, one thing you want to realize is that once you... Once you change your mixed numbers to improper fractions, okay, you will no longer need these whole numbers, 3 and 1, okay? Why don't you need them? Because once you change them to improper fractions, the 3 and the 1 got absorbed in this process we use, this clockwise process, okay? So we don't need the 3 and the 1 anymore. All we need is our 19 over 6 and our 11 over 6. So now we're ready to subtract. 19 minus 11 is 8. And then we have a common denominator of 6. So there's our fraction. Our final answer is 8 over 6. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is change our improper fraction to back to a mixed number. Because when you take the test, guys, more likely your answer is going to be in the same form as your original expressions, which in this case is a mixed number. So how do we go back from an improper fraction to a mixed number? Well, fractions are actually another way to express division, right? This little bar right here is actually a division bar, 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 8 and we're going to divide it by 6. How many times does 6 go into 8? One time. 1 times 6 is 6. We'll subtract 6 from 8. We get 2. Now, you're not going to continue. You're going to leave that remainder of 2 and you're going to bring it right up here. That's going to become your numerator of your mixed number. And of course, you're going to keep the same denominator you've had through this whole process. You're going to have 6. Okay? Now, in addition to this, notice that our fraction is able to be reduced. Remember, back in school, you always learn to reduce your fraction. So we're going to have to do the same thing on this test, on the T's test. You're going to have to reduce all your fractions. So we have 2 over 6, right? What's the biggest number that can divide into both 2 and 6? 2. So we're going to divide this 2 and this 6 by 2. OK, once we do that, what do we get? 1 over Three. So our final answer is 1 and 3 thirds. So we're going to put our answer up here. 1, not 1 and 3 thirds, guys, 1 and 1 third. My bad. Okay, so let's go over this process again. First, you had to take your mixed numbers, change them to improper fractions. 19 over 6, 11 over 6, then we subtracted those, got 8 over 6, then we changed 8 over 6 back to a mixed number, which gave us 1 and 1 third. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.